Underway, three five-minute rounds in the heavyweight division. Both athletes making their professional MMA debuts under the bright lights of the Strike Force Challenger Series. And of course, with each having an incredible wrestling pedigree, I, I anticipate a stand-up war throughout this fight. It happens a lot of times when two wrestlers go at it. They just decide to throw bombs. I see that Frazier is using a lot of side-to-side -side motion, but he's still backing up. If he gets his back to the fence, it's going to be a problem. Frazier looking to counter. He's definitely trying to cut angles and come over the top. Cormier doing a good job, though, of keeping them against the fence. Inside leg kick by Cormier, and uh, that was one thing he said we would not be seeing because, and he's a very open and honest fighter, and as he lands an overhand right, and it's Frazier going for the first takedown, immediately stuffed by Cormier with a nice knee up the middle. Cormier was telling us that he delivered a kick in practice, and Bob Cook couldn't stop laughing. He said, I will not be using kicks in this fight. Well, he's already been called a liar. And Frazier, I mean, it's surprising to me. He's coming right after him with the, with the wrestling attempts. Well, a two-time state champion in wrestling, 21 years of age, youth is on his side. Now, Cormier immediately gets his back. Frazier is turtled up. Frazier's got to relax right here. This is a new position for him because in this position with wrestling, there were no strikes, but now he can strike. He's got to free up that left hand and start jackhammering that. He's not going to want to try and put his hooks in. I don't think his jujitsu is that developed. He's going to try and smash his way. There are a lot of wrestlers come into MMA, and they work better when they work on the ground and pound. On the undercard, we saw a couple of uh, matches end in the Dars choke from this position, and I know that Daniel Cormier was telling us he's a big fan of the Dars and the arm triangle choke, but right now it's good old-fashioned ground and pound delivering those hammer fists. Frazier just shelling up, trying to defend. You really don't want an Olympic wrestler on your back like this for very long. I mean, he's going to make you carry his weight the whole time. He's going to wear you out. Frazier really needs to get moving, and, and uh, you know, you're not going to win a fight by just staying there. there. He tried to come up awful tough with an Olympian holding you down. Frazier doesn't seem to be too confident in his guard yet because he hasn't even tried to pull guard. Well, he gets back to his feet, but immediately is on his back trying to upkick Cormier, though, showing some poise for his first fight. Absolutely, and, and you saw the power of Cormier there when Fraser tried getting up. I mean, Cormier just like a bear, just pawed Passes him down to the, the ground. guard, well done, and now is in side control. Cormier, standout wrestler at Oklahoma State University, a program that's produced the likes of MMA great Randy Couture, Mark Munoz, Jake Rochelle, Don Fry, and so many others. Trap that uh, right arm of Frazier, now he's gonna start blasting with that left hand. Frazier's in a problematic position because he can't block the punches. Almost got him in the crucifix here and just, yeah, like you say, an open target is that head. And now, riddling the body with those shots. And Cormier, very focused, very calm and content, busy systematically picking apart Frazier. Yeah, I mean, he's really, he's putting it on Frazier. And you can see, you can see Frazier's youth coming out here. I think he's, he's a little shell-shocked by what he's feeling, the power. That, that he's dealing with right now. Frazier didn't even try to go to guard when he was on his back, and now he's going to start eating those knees to the body. Cormier started boxing two and a half months ago in Tulsa. He's been at American Kickboxing Academy in San Jose for the past month, and now it looked like he was almost transitioning into a rear naked choke. Frazier just running away for dear life, meets him with the right hand, and that backs up Cormier momentarily. Now Frazier loading up with the right. Frazier telegraphing that right hand. And he has his hands way low. I think Frazier's a little angry right now. He's a little tired of getting He's beat frustrated. On. He's ready to come back. And well, I, I like what I see out of Cormier in the stand with you guys. Frazier seems to be the more tired of the two right now. At 21, he's got youth on his side, but Cormier at 30 is a very youthful character. I think speed and technique-wise and reach-wise, I don't think Frazier realizes he actually has the advantage. Only five pounds separated the two at the weigh and although Cormier looks a lot bigger than Frazier. Cormier doing very well with his jab. I think he should go back to that. Frazier almost shaving Cormier's whiskers with that right. And we are at the end of round one.
need you to keep them hands up, all right? I need you to use that right hand. You're only one punching. You gotta put them together, okay? Don't let this guy in the fight, okay? You're doing great. Here you see Cormier, he's got both arms trapped. Frazier, Frazier can't get out of there. Uh, he's applying a lot of pressure, beating on the body. People don't realize if it doesn't hurt you, it changes your breathing patterns, which gets you more tired by doing that. Here's Cormier throwing a couple punches at him, chasing him across the ring. Couple right hands landed there by Frazier. I think Frazier got a little uh, little bold there, landing a couple punches, I think gave him some, some uh, energy, actually. Round two, sage advice from Bob Cook in Cormier's corner, asking Cormier to keep his hands up, deliver more than just a single shot. How did you score the opening round, Fight Professor? I would have to say that opening round was a 10-9 round for Daniel Cormier. He controlled the action, delivered more strikes. Frazier didn't look good when he turned his back and ran. That, that's, that's a no-no. I mean, at least try for a clinch or something or pull guard. But turning and running, it's, it, judges don't like that. Frazier pops a nice looking jab. Frazier looks terrified here. Well, he's backed up along the fence again. Pawing jab by Cormier, overhand right now in the Greco Roman clinch. Frazier just trying to push him away. Now dropping a level for the single leg as Cormier can. Frazier holding onto that fence, watch out. That's illegal. Hey, he's doing what he had to do. Yes, but then there he's off. I mean, I know he's a track star, but this isn't a track meet. <laughs> Frazier's got to realize, I really think the kid can land some punches if he put three or four together. He misses the first two. The third and fourth is going to be there. Nice left hand by Cormier. Moving side to side. Frazier unloads an overhand right. Ooh. That was a little, good kick. Little good. south of the equator, can, but right. Yeah, and you can see Cormier, you know, although he's in a, a world-class wrestler, this is a different world for him a little bit. Now he's got bombs coming back at him for real for the first time. And now he continues to dish out the punishment along the fence. Frazier with the right hand. Now we've got a quick exchange. Back to the Greco-Roman clinch. This has suddenly turned into a fight. Body locked by Cormier, looking for the big takedown, nicely blocked by Frazier. That was beautiful balance. That kid is a good athlete. You can see him taking in deep breaths, and the crowd here at the Spirit Bank Event Center enjoying every single second of the action. Frazier from Shawnee, Oklahoma. Cormier attended Oklahoma State University. Now Cormier, top position on Frazier. Yeah, he threw the knee and slipped, as you saw, and I think that was probably more from fatigue than anything else. He's in the open half guard, dropping those long-range hammer fists, and now Stephen Quadros, he's playing the drums on his face. He really is. I would have to say that was almost a parallel, a left, right, left, left, and a right, left, right, right. Frazier, I think, is fighting a little bit too much on adrenaline, and it's going to really be hard for him if this goes to the third round to continue and be defensive at all. Pat, you've trained a lot of champions. His pro MMA debut, he is still a just dipping the toes into the water, so to speak, in terms of training as Cormier postures up. What do you think of Cormier's performance thus far? Uh, you know what? I think he's doing pretty well. First time in the ring on national TV, on Showtime. I mean, most kids would be completely petrified. No, I'm really, really impressed impressed with his overall composure. He is taking his time, biding his time, looking for the shots, and now in the full mount, dropping the lefts and the rights on Gary Frazier. Frazier has got to buck at least once. Try and buck him off. Nicely done, going to the body, opening up the head. And now Frazier gives up his back. Hooks in. A minute and a half left in the second round. Frazier getting pounded on the ears. And Frazier right now looks like the proverbial fish out of water. The referee stops the fight. You can slap some good old JR's barbecue sauce on Frazier. He is done. More? And we've got Cormier coming over to the broadcast. Area saying, what's up, Moral? I'll tell you what's up. Your hand is about to be up, raised in victory in your professional MMA debut. What a performance there, Pat. Yeah, I think he fought very well. And I got I to give it to Frazier. 
Frazier fought very well for his first time in the ring against an Olympic wrestler like that. I mean, Cormier's, Cormier's a, a physical freak, very powerful guy. Frazier did a good job. And Frazier may have tasted defeat in his pro MMA debut, but as you mentioned, a very valiant effort. Two heavyweights going at it to kick off this edition of Strike Force Challenger Series. And again, Daniel Cormier, the two time U.S. Olympic wrestler, wins his MMA debut. Here's Frazier with cat like balance for a big guy. Look at that. He tried the hip tossing, then he tried the trip. Frazier defended both of them. That's, that's impressive stuff. I mean, you can tell he's a state wrestling champ. You know, with Cormier on top of him, you know, he's got a lot of power. Those punches are hitting a lot harder than you think. You could feel the impact of him all the way over here, Cade's side. He, he does hit very hard. Is Cormier taking his time, mounted, putting a little pressure across the throat. People don't notice that a lot of times. Adding that little bit of choke now and then, pressure, dropping the bombs and realizing that if he put it on him here, ref's going to jump in and stop it as he got his back. <laughs> the power of Cormier's hips there, I mean, putting, putting the hips in there with the legs in with an Olympic wrestler on you, it nearly break your spine a lot of times. Now to make it official, let's bring you up to the cage and once again, Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of three minutes, 39 seconds in round number two. Our referee in charge, Kevin Nix, stops the contest. He is the winner by way of TKO in his professional debut, Daniel Cormier. 